So, this revolution in biotech, we can compare it with the revolution in the computing world, uh, but with what difference? Most of the uh, success of biotechnology came from the true academic labs, as compared to the computing world where, where independent entrepreneurs or the people who were college dropouts or students ultimately, ultimately developed. People like Mark Zuckerberg who developed Facebook or Bill Gates who did Microsoft or Larry Page or Sergey Brin who did Google or Janis Fries or Nicholas Sandstrom who made Skype. These were all um, uh, independent entrepreneurs. But in, in, in biotech world, we had proper academicians, professors who ultimately made these companies. Um, so we discussed Genentech earlier. And Genentech was very successful. Ultimately, it was acquired by Genentech, uh, by Roche, which is a big pharmaceutical giant, for $46.8 billion. Currently, it has around 13,000 employees, and it has 19 breakthrough biopharmaceutical products. Um, the academician behind it was Dr. Herbert Bayer from California, Berkeley. And this was the guy who brought in restriction endonucleases. Similar to uh, Genentech, one company which made a huge uh, hallmark on the biotech world was Amgen which was termed as Applied Molecular Genetics, but later it turned its, uh, changed its name to Amgen. At the moment, this company has around 11 breakthrough biopharmaceutical products, but actually with more employees than Genentech, around 18,000. And it has revenues around $20 billion, with total assets around $70 billion and a net income of $5 billion. So, uh, the academician again behind Amgen was Dr. Winston Seltzer from, from California, Los Angeles. And they developed the first drug to basically cure anemia, uh, uh, erythropoietin, the first recombinant erythropoietin. Similarly, another company, Biogen, with 10 breakthrough biopharmaceutical products uh, with a revenue around $9.7 billion and total assets of 15 billion dollars with the current employees around 7,500. So they come up with very innovative drugs as well. One of the drugs which I have shown here is Tisebri Natalizumab, which is a monoclonal antibody which binds to your blood brain with an endothelial receptor in blood brain barrier. People who have multiple sclerosis can be cured by this drug. So, what happens in multiple sclerosis? आपके blood brain barrier के ऊपर कुछ receptors हैं, जिनकी help लेते हुए white blood cells blood brain barrier cross करते हैं, and they start to eat the myelin sheath uh, on your neurons. Basically, neuronal fibers को एक myelin sheath insulate करती है, और ये white blood cells जाते हैं और उसको foreign समझते हुए attack करना start कर देते हैं, and they particularly eat away that myelin sheath. एक पाकिस्तान की टॉप मॉडल को भी मल्टीपल सिक्लोरोसिस है तो टिसेबरी व्हाट इट डज इट गोज ऑन एंड सिट्स ऑन दोज रिसेप्टर्स एंड अल्टीमेटली ब्लॉक्स द वे ऑफ वाइट ब्लड सेल्स के वो के वो ब्लड ब्रेन बैरियर क्रॉस ना कर सके और अल्टीमेटली वो शीट ना खा सके एकेडमिक्स बिहाइंड दिस पर्टिकुलर कंपनी वाज केनेथ मुरे फ्रॉम एडिनबरा और चार्ल्स वाइसमैन फ्रॉम ज्यूरिख यूनिवर्सिटी and Philip Sharp from MIT. Here in the picture, you can see that he is receiving a prize. Now, Genzyme. Um, Genzyme was different from the rest. Why? Because it targeted a niche market. It targeted a market for which there was not many people. But basically, if you don't have a lot of people uh, for a particular disease, we call them orphan diseases. Most of the companies don't target such diseases because there is, there is not a big market for it. So there are people in this world who have what we call Gaucher disease. I'll explain that disease in a bit. But Genzyme at the moment have around 16 innovative biopharmaceutical products and, and, and rev revenues around $5 billion. Now, they came up with this... Uh, drug known uh, basically an 
enzyme which could cure Gaucher disease. So what is Gaucher disease? It is a genetic disease in which fatty substances, particularly a sphingolipid named ceramide, gets accumulated in your cells and certain organs. Or ye kyun hota hai? It happens because there is a hereditary deficiency. Jo enzyme ek glucocerebrosidase ek enzyme hai, jo basically aap mein synthesize nahi ho raha hota. So if you start to give that enzyme orally or, or by injection, ultimately you can start to cure this disease. Uh, what are the symptoms? Basically, there is a low, low blood platelets, just ki wajah se you get bruising, anemia, fatigue, and ultimately enlargement of the liver and spleen as well. So prior to their genetically engineering of this enzyme, and trying to and basically producing it outside uh, the human body people used to collect around 22000 place uh, placentas to treat gaucher patients so that they because from uh, placentas are ultimately thrown uh, when the birth is happening so ultimately you can collect this enzyme from placentas so you can imagine ki kitni zyada fatigue khatam ho gayi uh, by, by this particular product. So the academician behind Genzyme was Dr. Henry Blair, who was a research technician at Tufts University. In the next topics, we'll also see that what companies came out after 2000's debacle and what products they brought to the market.